This one's going to make you hungry. Mm. This right. morning in our series, Behind the Brand, the woman who is the name in pita chips. Mm. Her creations are on store shelves everywhere, and now the Stacy behind Stacy's chips is diving into something new. Measuring success is like the mission, the culture, and the revenue, right? So the mission is you get to do the right thing. The culture is you get to have fun doing it. And then the revenue is what you have to do in order to do number one and number two. Stacy Madison has been through it all. Married, divorced, had two kids on my own, um, breast cancer, yeah, a lot of blips along the way. You know, I think as part of that journey, you really have to be, you have to be prepared. But Stacy's journey started with the chips. How does one get into pita chips? The pita chip company originally started on a food cart in downtown Boston, serving um, healthy sandwiches on pita bread. We always had this excess inventory, baked them up and into different flavored pita chips and gave them away for free to people standing in line. So Stacy started cooking up those pita chips in her sister's catering kitchen. There was no such thing as a pita chip factory, so we had to just get creative and build the machines and do all of that on our own. Back in the 90s, she and her then-husband focused all their attention on the chips, getting on shelves one local grocery store at a time. What started as a snack to keep customers happy while they waited in line for their sandwiches became Stacy's Pita Chips and in 2005, sold to Frito-Lay for millions of dollars. When I say that, what goes through your mind? I saw you smirk a little bit, but that must be in your wildest dreams. And that was my, you know, my firstborn in a sense. So still very rewarding to see, you know, it on the shelf and to see how the company has grown. And Stacy isn't done. Wanting a place for health food foodies like herself to come together, she opened Stacy's Juice Bar near her hometown in Massachusetts. When the pandemic hit, though, she was forced to close the shop after just seven years. But it was at the Juice Bar, thanks again to extra inventory, that she came up with her latest idea, Be Bold Bars, a refrigerated snack made with ingredients like nut butters, chocolate chips, chia seeds, and oats. When you find a great product like that, like the product finds you almost. I think it's an interesting nuance that you have created the brand so that it is not next to all of the other bars. It's in a, literally, uh, a lane of its own. <laughs> the refrigerated piece of it is a hurdle because it's different distribution, it's different shelf space. Yes, we could have put stuff in it and gone into the bar aisle. That's not what we're about. And in order to get the word out there, this time around, she's taken to TikTok. It's a whole new ball game when you step outside of that bar aisle. And um, it's a whole new ball game now with social media. I mean, look, you saw my TikTok. And throughout all her food ventures, Stacy's made it a family affair. Her twin daughters are now 18 years old. They don't think I'm the coolest at all. <laughs> They were very impressed when I went viral, though. What advice would you give other women or moms out there who are in a position where they want to do something but might feel a little stuck? When you get into a pool of cold water, you know, some people have two methods, right? You're going to tiptoe to the edge and you're going to get in slowly a little bit at a time. And then others, they're like, you know what? Just going to jump. And sometimes, you just have to jump. <laughs> sometimes you just have to jump. You know sure. what? That's the shortest way sometimes, mm -hmm. and you have to take the leap. But we all tried them. What do you think? Do you I mean? like them. Delicious. They're dense. Like it's that's. It tastes like you'll be satisfied for a while. I right. It's yeah. filling. And yeah. you know what I like to do? I freeze them and then crumble them over yogurt or mm. ice cream, just like for a little extra something. Joe cool. Martin, ladies and gentlemen. That's so <laughs> good. I haven't eaten Stacey's pita chips, but I just never really thought about the woman behind the name. You right. know what I mean? It's so like, these segments are good. You get to see who's behind it. Stacey, who handed them out because it was extra inventory for people waiting for her sandwiches. You never know where the big idea is going to come That's from. That's good stuff. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.